Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Cider Review. It's the Thousand Pound Cider Review, boys and squirrels. We've got this cider. De Monk's Belgian-style hard cider. De Monk's. Get it? De Monk's? De Monk's? I was just checking if there was anything in the bottom. Um, so the ingredients in this is a uh, hard cider, water, carbon dioxide, and water juice. And then in brackets as uh, the back sweetener and sulfates for preservative. That makes me sad. Uh, calories per bottle, 134. Under 1% of your sodium, 4% of your carbs, 8 grams of sugar, no protein, no vitamins. Um, ABV, is that on here? Produced by Southern Tier Brewing Company, Lakewood, New York. So, actually, Joe had told me about this and how it was, uh, oh, 5% alcohol by volume. So, Joe had told me that uh, this was the Southern Tier hard cider. I'm really curious to try it, especially now having tried three more Ontario craft cideries and uh, liking the three craft cideries I've tried and them tasting and smelling great and not being filled with sulfites or anything else. And yeah, let's see what this is like. So it said it was a Belgian style cider because it's 100% apple juice fermented with Belgian yeast, all natural, gluten free. So, it's always fun to find a new apple cider, right? Unfiltered little haziness, a nice crisp golden color. Oh. Hmm. Okay, out of the glass. A nice white wininess, sweet fruit, little little uh, vinous on the background, little dry on the background. Um, out of the bottle though, out of the bottle, not nice. You're getting that um, you're getting that sulfite smell out of it, that somewhat rubbery smell. Let's try it. Cheers. Fuck what it smells like, you're not tasting it. Mmm. Okay. It's there on the second sip. So now the question is, does it gain as I drink it? So. Basically. Very low carbonation. And a nice sweet apple juice flavoring. In all honesty, I think the back sweetening it with more apple juice instead of with sugars or anything like that is why it hides the sulfite flavor so well because you're actually back sweetening it with something that adds more than just sweet. It actually adds a flavor with the sweet. And the first sip was beautiful. The first sip was just apple juice, like um, like just straight up like Allen's apple juice even. After the first sip. Still really nice, really apple but you're getting a little, little hint of the sulfites on the background. But so minimal that it doesn't even matter. I'm only picking it up because of how much I hate sulfites. I don't think the average person would pick it up, or if it was done blind, I don't even know if I'd pick it up. Um, how does it stack up compared to a lot of the American ciders I've had? It's a lot better than a lot of the American ciders I've had, and that's not to say the American ciders are bad. I'm just saying that yeah, a lot of the American ciders I've had are filled with a lot of fake chemicals, uh, extracts, stuff like that, and this isn't. This is actually fairly, fairly natural, and a nice little, nice little cider done by a brewery that knows how to make stuff. Um, is it better than the craft ciders I've had in the past? 
I'd say this is better than Twin Pines, and I love Twin Pines ciders. I'd say this is better than uh, Wapoo stuff, um, Putty Comb stuff, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, the three I had this weekend, I think this is uh, on par or just below, and Forbidden, I think this is on par or just below. That being said, this is a great cider. I would buy this cider again. I would recommend this cider to anyone like, say, Luke, who needs something that is gluten-free. Uh, out of 10 on this cider, um... <coughs> actually doesn't taste bad on the burp, either. It even chugs well. Um, 8.25, I like it. Apple juice, nice, sweet. It's like watered down apple juice, really, is what it is. It's not as uh, it's not as harsh on the sweetness, and it's fairly dry after you drink it. I actually quite enjoy it. So, Demunks Cider, uh, 8.25 out of 10. It's a nice cider. Thank you, guys. Bye.